This is activity number two for lesson B5. For this activity, you will need the assembled Raspberry Pi setup from previous activities, as well as the assembled circuit you built in the last activity. In this activity, you will use your newly modified circuit from the last activity and create a program that will count each time the push button connected to GPIO 13 is pressed and print the current count to the console. First, create a new program in Thonny and save it to your desktop as button underscore counter. Since this program will interact with GPIO pins and have a delay, you must import the RPI GPIO and time modules. So go ahead and do that now. Next, the GPIO pen mode will need to be set to BCM. GPIO 13 will also need to be configured as an active low input since it's connected to ground. Now, since this switch does not have any pull-up resistors attached, active low status will need to be configured within the program. You can see that code here. Now, a variable will need to be used to hold the amount of button presses that have occurred, and this value should be zero when the program starts. Create a variable called button underscore count and set it equal to zero. Since this program is interacting with GPIO pins, use a try accept loop so the accept condition can catch keyboard interrupts and run a GPIO cleanup command before the program exits. Add this code to the bottom of your program. Your program can now exit smoothly and without any errors when the stop button is pressed in Thonny. Now it's time to build the main loop that will watch GPIO 13 for a low or false state. If GPIO 13 is low, the button has been pressed and the value of the variable button count will go up by one. You will also use this loop to print the current value of the variable button count. Go ahead and add this code to the end of your program. Now make sure the print statement is indented inside the if statement. If not, the value of the variable button count will be printed every time the main loop runs, which is very, very often. Since this program will be checking GPIO 13 very often, it will consume more resources than it really needs. Adding a delay of 0.05 seconds to the main loop will slow down the button checks a small amount while drastically reducing the CPU load. Make sure the indentation on this delay is aligned with the if block above it so that it runs even if the if block does not get triggered by GPIO 13. Go ahead and run the program and press the button a few times. Did you notice anything about the count? It's not very accurate at all. Since we didn't write any code to slow down the checking of GPIO 13, those checks are happening about 1,000 times a second. Every time that GPIO 13 is checked and found to be low, button is pressed, the button count variable goes up by one and the value is printed to the console. You will need to tune up this loop with a delay to make it run more accurately, which you'll do in the next activity. Here's a copy of the whole program for your reference. Leave this program open and move on to the next activity.